Hello and welcome to this introduction to the Marin Map applications with a focus on getting around the map viewer. Marin Map is a geographic information system that brings the best available map information for Marin County to the internet at www.marinmap.org. You can access the Marin Map applications at marinmap.org by selecting Applications on the home page. This tutorial will focus on the Map Viewer with HTML5 application. You can explore more than 80 different map layers for Marin County and query them by address or assessor parcel number. You can also annotate and print maps. The maps are best viewed using Internet Explorer version 9 and above or the current versions of Firefox and Chrome and can be viewed on desktop computers, tablets and smartphones. The Map Viewer GIS application shows all public maps in one easy to use application and the web page is organized into three areas or frames. At the top of the screen is the toolbar frame which is divided into a series of tabs to help you find the tools you need quickly and easily. Similar commands are kept together in groups for example, here on the Getting Around tab in the Getting Around group, you have tools for zooming in on an area of a map, or for zooming out, or for returning to the initial view of the map. Please note that as the map viewer is still in development, additional tool buttons may appear in existing toolbar tabs. The group names may also change. In my current view, the toolbar is displayed. If you do not see the toolbar, select the Open Toolbar button on the right side of the screen to close or open the toolbar. On the left side of the web page is the data frame, which contains a scroll bar list of more than 80 maps organized in layers and that make up the Marin Map Geographic Information System. In my current view, the map layers are displayed, but if you do not see them, select the Expand Collapse Data Frame button to show or hide the data frame. The data frame also contains a close panel button. If you close the data frame panel, select the I want to button and click on change visible map layers to reopen the data panel. The map layers are organized in levels by name. Select the plus sign on the left of a name to reveal more levels. Select the check mark box to the left of a name to reveal that layer. Any names that are greyed out are not available at this scale. You can display the legend for the visible map layers. Select the panel actions menu and then select show legend. Select the panel actions menu again and then select show layer list to return to the map layers. A scale is displayed at the bottom left corner of the map frame. And at the top left corner of the map frame there are four selectable buttons. Find your position, zoom in a step, zoom out a step, and bookmark locations. The map frame contains a blue I want to button for shortcuts to search by address or property ID or for printing maps among others. The I want to button is primarily intended for mobile devices that do not support the tool ribbon but can be used on any device. In the bottom right corner of the map frame is the open and close the overview map button. You can drag here to change the map extent. In the bottom left corner of the map frame is the coordinates widget button that displays latitude and longitude along with the scale displayed in miles and kilometers. This concludes the getting around tutorial. Now that we have covered the map viewer ribbon, the map layers list and the map view area, we are ready to start using this public map application.